This is Jono to do one to the best one, Jono Tick. And I'm going to do another Mac antivirus uh, review. And I'm going to do a virus test as well as the review. So, first I'll download Sophos antivirus for Mac. Home edition. So, I'm downloading it right now. Shouldn't take so long. And so now that it's downloaded, what you want to do is you're going to open the DMG file. From here, you're going to wait for it to verify or click skip if you don't want to wait. And now minimize the window and you'll see software. Antivirus. Now you're going to read the before you install and double click the M package file. And then click continue. Click continue. And read the important information. Click continue. Read the license agreement, which I already read. Click continue. Click agree if you agree. Click continue. Connect. Wait for it to connect to Sophos. Click install, type your password, now it's going to write the files and do all the stuff it's supposed to do. Then close. Now that's done, we can easily launch it up. Just go to your launch pad and click Surface Antivirus. Once you launch Surface Antivirus, first thing you see is this really gunned down simple interface. You can scan local drives and you can add custom scans. Now, we're going to download this test virus called eCure test file. This is not really a virus, but it tests your antivirus to see if real time is working. So real time protection for Surface should be working right now. Click. So I'm going to download the ICA test file right now. Click the txt file. And here it says threat detected by Sophos antivirus. And you can close and open quarantine manager. So threat was found, so surface works, so it's pretty nice. Now you can clean up threat or clear from list. Now to clean up the threat you have to click the lock button and click clean up threat to delete the threat. So it's simple as that. Surface. Now, in this really gunned down interface, you can click scan now, and it quickly does a scan. In custom scan, you can click this plus button, and you can add schedule options, scan items, and exclude items. Now, scanning is pretty quick, although you can hear my fans running at full speed. Now, if I click stop, it stops and my fan is slowing down. Now, if we click file and we click new, what this does is it adds a new scan name. So I'll just um, get rid of these. Okay, we click edit, we have basic stuff, scan, so you can scan the local drives and view scan log window, we have all the window options, and if we click preferences, we can manage all the stuff here. So we can check after on access scanning, and all the stuff you'd expect, and live protection. Now if we go ahead and disable this live protection, and we download the ecotest file, wait, sorry. 
got to. Now it's saved. As you can see, both of these will are removed. I think. Now, if we do load it, even with the live protection off, it still works, which is really nice. And once we open text edit, there's nothing there because it's in quarantine or softs. Now, if we open quarantine manager, we can easily clear, clean up for it, as I just showed you. So that's it, guys. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.